Hi, I'm Christopher, a research software engineer with Research Software Workshops, and it's a very warm welcome to part one of Text and Sentiment Analysis in R. All the material can be found at the link at the bottom of this page. Please go to that and you'll find a page which will look something like this. This course is aimed at the intermediate R developer who wants to learn how to do useful text and sentiment analysis tasks in R. It will focus on modern R, specifically the tidyverse collection of packages which are designed for data science. Now, text and sentiment analysis is a huge topic, and we could not possibly cover it all in one short course. The purpose of this workshop is to give you an introduction to some of the most useful tools and to demonstrate some of the most common problems that surface. Now, this workshop assumes that you have knowledge of R, which is equivalent to that covered in our beginning R, intermediate R, and introduction to data analysis in our workshops. And of course, you can jump to ahead to any chapter, and of course, there's one video for each of these chapters, and we'll be covering tokenizing, sentiment analysis, regular expressions, word clouds, n-grams, and then just do a little quick summary at the end. Now, for the purpose of this workshop, we will be using RStudio. If you haven't got RStudio installed and working, then we do have instructions linked to here. Um, and basically, you can just follow the instructions of the Intermediate R workshop, and that will get you RStudio installed and working. Now, just as in our introduction to analysis in our workshop, we're going to be writing um, R Markdown notebooks in our studio. And again, we have instructions. If you've never done this before, instructions to do that are written here. Now, we're also going to be using a range of packages in this workshop. To install them, we need to run this command. So we're just going to copy and paste this into my R Studio session. Okay, here's my R Studio, and I'm just going to paste those commands in into the console and it will now install those packages onto my RStudio. So you can see them downloading, in they go. And hopefully these will all install fine. As you can see, they've all installed, it's all been put in correctly. So okay, with that, we're now ready to move on to the next part of the workshop, and I look forward to seeing you there.